Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will be discussing about the data set in R Studio. Now, what is a data set? Data set, it is a collection of data, like often which is uh, uh, like represented in a table. Fine. And in R Studio, there is a very popular data set that is by the name MT Cars, Motor Trend Car Road Tests. Right. Now, it is uh, like let us see what is this data set all about if i will enter this this is the data set can you see this the this is the data set fine now if you want the information about the data set right you want information okay, what is this data set all about fine so what you are going to do you are going to write a question mark then write down the name of the data set. It will give you the information in this section. You can see this. Sorry. Not this one. This one. Motor trend car road test. The data was extracted from 1974. So and so. It is giving you the all the necessary details of the data set. Alright. Fine. So this you can do with any, uh, any data set. Fine. Now we will be you want to find the dimensions <coughs> of data set for that what you are going to do dim the name of the data set let's say empty cars right so that is 32 11 that means there are 32 rows and 11 columns are there right and when you want to know the names of the variables when you want to know the names of the variables for that what you are going to do names the data set empty cars and you can see that these are all the names of the variables in the data set fine now when you want to get the names of each row in the first column so uske liye hum kya karte hai? row names bracket empty cars so you can see here it is giving you the list of all the row names fine so we have uh, already found from this that the data set it has 32 observations right and there are 11 variables fine <coughs> next is when you want to print variable values you want to print variables values so for let's suppose i want to print the values of the cylinder variable see when I put dollar sign after the data set, you can see the list of all the variables has been opened up in front of me. So I can display the values of any variables. So it is displaying me the values of any variable. Fine. Next is, let's suppose uh, I want to do some sorting and I don't want to distort the, uh, like, um, the original data set. For that, what I am going to do, I am going to store that data in the name data okay so my empty cars data is in data now now whatever manipulation i'll do i will do it on the data but not on the original file so let's suppose sort i want to sort the cylinder value so now you can see earlier when i printed the cylinder variable it, it was coming in the uh, uh, normal sequence but now it is coming in the ascending order fine so we can see now this this particular command is telling you that uh, the most of the cars they have four and eight cylinders right now next thing is when you want to analyze the data you can find out first of all let's find out the summary of this data i'll have the summary right so uh, when i will print this <coughs> the, it is going to give you six statistical numbers for each variable for every variable, it is giving you six statistical variable values like minimum value, first quartile, median value, mean value, third quartile value and all that. Right. So this was all about the data set, how you can get the basic information about any data set. What are the uh, like various commands for uh, uh, like uh, knowing the variable names, the names of the columns. If you want to print any particular variable, if you want to do the ascending and descending order or something like that. So this was all, all about this data set. Fine. So if you people understood my video, then please do subscribe to my channel and share this video as much as you can. Thank you.